What the heck? What the heck? So today we, yes, we are gonna be testing out a 3D printing face mask machine. Huge hat tip to Safi for this. Thank you so much for the idea. I was watching her video and I'm like, this would be so cool if multiple people tested it out because like, I don't know if it's gonna work for me. I don't know if it's gonna work for my friends. I don't know. I'm just really, really curious. So I have Chili Nicole. <laughs> so let's open this machine up and then I'll give you some facts about it and have my friends react to the facts too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. This straight up looks like R2D2. It looks like a food juicer. You know what this looks like? Oh my gosh. It looks like um R2D2. Yes. I feel like it's crisp. I was expecting it to be much bigger. It is like literally the size of my hand. What? It's so tiny. I thought it was gonna be like a huge like machine. Then it comes with these tablets, which you have to have to make this. Oh. Why does it? I can just stay over there. Okay. Bioactive collagen peptide. These are pills. It pretty much just turns every liquid into a face mask with the machine, so it works. It works very well. They're like best friends. We have the little cup holder which tells us like where we're gonna pour our liquid and then our water to make the face mask. Then we have the little face mask sheet mold. It looks like a guy. Look at it. It looks like a man. And then this looks like, oh, this is like the face part. Okay, I was like, um, what is this? <laughs> we're putting it together right now. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide it. Just keep on sliding and boom. So now that we've built it, we have it set up, we're gonna, you know, make the face mask, but I want to just talk about the price and just a few little facts. First, this was $150, which is pretty, yeah, it's expensive, definitely. Are you kidding? Yeah. Why no, did, I'm not kidding. Why did you on this, Fiona? <laughs> okay, it's not as much as I was thinking. I was thinking like maybe like $800. But if you think about it, each sheath mask that you buy is around, you know, $10. So let's say you buy, you know, 15 face masks, boom, you just paid for your face mask machine that makes hundreds and hundreds of face masks. So it kind of makes sense. And you get to make your own. You get to make your own combinations. Um, so, bye-bye. Hi, hi. And I got the masquerade. That's the name of this project. I think it's actually really cute. Masquerade. It's like masquerade party. <laughs> Clever name. <laughs> right? But I got this on Derm Store. Now we're going into our face mask that we're going to be using, like the ingredients we're going to be using, and our skin type so then we can, you know, calm our skin and help it out. So my personal skin type is really, really acne prone and dry, which is kind of an odd combination, but that's my skin type. So like, I have combination skin, so it's really hard to get that perfect mask. I have mainly oily skin, but with a little garnish of dry skin. So I'm gonna be using a green tea face mask. So here's why I was like nerding out on my computer, like trying to research all about all of our skin types. Green tea has an antioxidant known as the well. I'm just gonna call it Ibajiba. It was observed that Ibajiba reduced inflammation, sebum production, bacteria growth on pimple prone skin. So that just sounds like amazing. So that's what I'm gonna be using green tea. So you got coffee. And here's why. Coffee exfoliates combination skin. It makes it silky, smooth, and balanced. I got grapefruit juice, which is really good for oily skin because it has like exfoliating properties and it constricts pores. <laughs> it's pretty good though. <laughs> yeah, like it. It's good for your skin though. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> so now time to make the face mask. I have my brewed green tea. It's very concentrated right here because all you need is 25 milliliters of your liquid that you're using slash your magic sauce. Girl, I'm making a mess. So I'm gonna take my pea water, no I'm kidding, my green tea, and I'm gonna pour that into the liquid area in the masquerade. And then I'm gonna take one of these little tablets. Oh my gosh, it's evolving. Evolving, dissolving. I'm gonna let it fizz for a little bit and then I'm going to click the face mask button and let it pour out. So I clicked the button and now it's making this like alien sound. It's like Why did I say yes to this? I don't understand. What it's doing is the fan is spinning around in it and it's kind of like blending it together and then it spits it out. Meanwhile Oh my goodness, it looks like it's kind of pooping. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? It just, it feels nice. Almost like it feels satisfying. So I'm gonna let this face mask sit for two-ish minutes, two to three minutes, uh, so then it's solidified and you know, I can put it on my face. We're picking it up, aren't we, Nicole? So you're gonna put your head back and I'm gonna pick it up I'm and scared. put it on. Okay, it's okay. 
Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> I think this is a good one though. The feeling of it is just like, oh my goodness. <gasps> Ew, it's goofy. It's in my mouth. Oh my god, it's in my mouth. Well, see it? It's all uh, <laughs> Yuck. Oh my gosh, how do I look? Beautiful? I'm kidding. I know. It feels actually really nice and cooling and hydrating though, I'll have to say. I look crazy. Don't worry. It's look really crazy. <laughs> I look like that too. So the issue is it's kind of sliding off and it's breaking a little. It's a little difficult. It's, this is not easy. I would not be able to do this by ourselves. No. This is so like bad. Or, it's not bad, but it's like, it's just like it's so much trouble for a face mask. It is a little trolly. It feels good on my forehead though. So we're all leaving the face mask on for five minutes. I'm at four minutes right now. Oh like God. <laughs> okay. Take it off, girl. Where do I put it? Just like put on the this. It is time. You can just like take it off. Yep, pop it. Boop. One, two, three. Wee! Oh, that's actually really fun. Oh, the reveal. Ooh, my skin actually does look really glowy. I feel like my skin feels really calmed. I think it does make your skin look really nice. Like I think. I look really glowy. I feel like my pores actually might look a little bit like smaller. So after the face mask, here's a roundup. I really like it. My face feels very refreshed, but it was kind of a hassle. Like my neck had to be back, but if you were laying down with like your friend and she put it on, I feel like that's much easier. But by yourself, it's definitely hard. I don't know. I just, I don't think I would ever do this like by myself. Spend $150 on it. I would just run to Walgreens or CVS or whatever and get myself a sheet mask. So honestly, I feel like it did make a little bit of a difference. Would I do it again? Maybe. This is fun and I feel like if you want to hang out with your friends, then yeah. I feel like if you're turning 13 or 16 and you're gonna have like a bunch of curls over for a sleepover, you should really get this because it's really fun. Like you're all laying down and you put it on each other. It's just fun and your skin looks all nice and glowy after. It's more of a party activity then like by yourself do every night thing. So thank you so much for watching and Huggy Huggies! Huggy Huggies! Huggy Huggies!